I am Jason Zimmerman, the City of Crystal's Code Enforcement Specialist, and we are going to guide you through locating your property stakes today. Residents commonly ask the city to help find their lot lines or to survey the property. The city does not have a surveyor on staff, but you may be able to locate your property stakes on your own. The property stakes are also referred to as irons, pins, or monuments, and they mark where the land was subdivided to create your lot. The metal stakes are in the ground at the corners of the lot. They are about a half inch in diameter and 12 inches long. The tops of the stakes are placed at ground level, but over time they can become buried or even removed. Most lots in Crystal were created 60 to 70 years ago, so it may be hard to find these stakes. Before you do anything, you should do some research on your own before you do any digging. You can go to the Hennepin County website, which is a good source. Go to their property information search page, plug in your address, and once you do that, click on the link that says view map of property, and then click on layers and hybrid. This shows you a nice aerial shot of your lot, a nice outline of your lot. It's not the exact location of your lot lines, but it's a start. And then you'll also want to click on tools and measure. This gives you a tool to measure on the, on the aerial photograph. You can measure from the street back to the corner of your lot to give you an approximate location. It'll say, you know, 14, 15 feet, whatever it may be. And that'll give you a place to start when you go out into your yard to actually locate that, that lot corner. You can also ask city staff for previously completed surveys of your property by emailing customer service at crystalmn.gov. You also may want to check with your neighbors. Since you share property stakes with them, they may know where they are from previous projects. There is one more important step before you do any digging, and that's to call 811. This is the Gopher State One call. It's free. They send out utility workers to locate and mark underground lines such as water, sewer, natural gas, electrical, and communication lines. Some of these lines, especially phone or cable, may be just a few inches below the surface. So you want to make sure you call 811 and have everything clearly marked before you do any digging. Now we can find those stakes. So using your research, you want to measure from the edge of the street and mark the approximate location of the first property stake. Use a metal detector to pinpoint its location. If you don't have one, you can check with an equipment rental business to use for a day. Once you've pinpointed the location with the metal detector, gently dig out a small circle around the approximate spot and pull the turf out, like so. Dig down until your shovel meets the stake. It's a metal stake, so you'll know when you hit it. Once you find it, put a marker or a wooden stake down in the ground to mark that corner. Just a one or two foot wooden stake with a bright colored flag on it so you know, or tape so you know where it is. And then you're gonna measure from that point to your back corner, and you should know those dimensions if you did your research before and know your properties width and depth. So you, again, use a detector to pinpoint the new location when you find it. If you just need to find this one lot line, congratulations, you're done. If you want to do your entire lot, you just follow the same steps, measuring the width or depth of your lot to the other corners and dig down and find the stakes. Once you've found and staked the corners, what you want to do is run a string between them and leave the string up until your project is done, whether you're building a fence or a shed. Inspections may be required and the city inspector will use the line that's strung between the two pins to measure off setbacks and other things they may need to know where the lot line is for. We do want to make it clear, I am not a registered land surveyor, nor do I pretend to play one on YouTube. This is just meant as a guide to help property owners locate their own lot corners. If you can't find it for some reason, contact a, a licensed surveyor. Thank you for watching. And remember, do some research beforehand to get approximate locations and dimensions of your lot. Call 811, be sure Gopher State 1 comes out and marks your underground utilities. And then start your dig and good luck with your hunt. Thank you.